before they start talking, we can't forget Michael. Um, and um, uh, he's, uh, he's got some thoughts on the matter as well. So I'm just going to play a video, short video, with Michael's thoughts on what you're about to see from the team. Welcome back. It's me again. Are you all having an amazing time at Hope so far? I very much think you are. I very much hope you are. And I'm gutted I'm not with you. But for me, the next item on the agenda is the most exciting one. It's the launch of our latest product, a world exclusive for you. Last year, as many of you know, we launched our smart bag. It wasn't perfect, but it's the world's first smart bag. We showed the healthcare industry that medical bags could be so much better, more effective, and yes, so much smarter than they've ever been. We focused our marketing heavily on smart versus dumb. Not perfect, but we launched. Since then, we've worked with hospitals and patients and a lot of patients are in the room today across the US and learn even more about what was really needed, what, what people want from a medical bag, what it can prevent, what people are saying, and more importantly, what your body is saying and what we need to measure. As many of you know, today we live in the world of big data and our smart bag is the first one that gives us data and insights into truly an extraordinary, redefining patient journey. Our goal has been very simple. We want to be the gold standard in patient care, and we're on that journey. In a moment, my clinical and engineering team will present the new smart bag. As I said, this really is a world first. We're incredibly excited to show this to you. It's the next manifestation of what Eleven Health is doing to transform ostomy care. And now I'm going to hand this over to our clinical team and say thank you to everyone that's been involved in the development of the next generation. You are really my superheroes. Speak soon. some bits of technology. Fundamentally, he thinks, <coughs> my bag changes shape when it's built. I must be able to find something that reads that. And he gets components from Amazon. Where else? eBay. And he puts them together. And he comes up with this. The, the flex sensor. It's a metal strip that bends with the, with the change of shape in your bag and it alerts you via your smartphone that there's a problem. Now that's amazing. The concept is incredible, but it's not scalable. So from there was born the Ostomy Eye. It's the first generation sensor that changes shape with your bag and really alerts you via a smartphone app that something is happening. And through this, 
was born, the Armadillo Project. And here it is. The quest here was to find a more discreet and a better sensor, something that really, really worked. And this was our first FDA approved product. And the great thing about this is that it started to provide data, that essential thing that changes people's health care and personalizes their health care. But we know at Eleven Health that essentially data is only so useful as it goes, and it needs some kind of human connection. And so what was born from that? The patient coaching program. And these amazing people have helped us understand that data that comes from our technology to make their patients' lives better. And that is amazing. But we knew from what we heard from our patients that we needed to get better. We needed to get smarter. So we came up with a new solution. And here, as you see behind me, is the first Alfred smart bag that was ever released. And that was released last year. It has some amazing features. It has a hydrocolloid skin wafer that allows you to measure the skin temperature around your stoma to give you an indication of your skin health and also to detect leaks. It also has temperature sensors within the bag that can measure the output as it happens. And capacitive sensors as well that can measure the change in shape and tell you how full it is so you avoid those big bursts. And it has a smart hub. A smart hub that communicates with your phone and then communicates with a cloud that we affectionately call in the office, Urona. <laughs> so, what have we learned? We've got all this data. We have over 300,000 data points of information. We have over 18,000 patient days of uh, data collected as well. And certainly we have over 8,500 bag hours as well. And more than that, we've managed to see over 12 million cc's of poo fill our bags. And let's think about that. That is five fire trucks of poo. <laughs> Maybe that's worth some time. I don't know. Anyway. So, what we've got, we have a solution now. And it's working. It's transmitting data. It's making people's lives better through technology, through patient coaching. But we all know that smart has to get smarter. And this is what we're going to tell you today. And firstly, I'm going to introduce you to Anu, our amazing biomedical engineer, who's going to take you through a few more details of the technology. Whilst adding increased clinical value to patients' everyday lives. 
I'd now like to go through with you a few glimpses of the offering of our Aeneas technology. So let's start with the power and the material. In terms of the materials in the towel, external comfort layers and internal insulation layers have been embedded to give the patient a premium feel and soft feel of the towel. The internal insulation layers further act to enhance the integrated, the temperature, the performance of the integrated temperature technology inside of it to increase the signal to noise ratio of the temperature sensor. In terms of the size, we listen to our patient and now our pouch is 11% more smaller than that in small bag one, giving the patient a reduced bulk here and a more comfortable experience of wearing the pouch every day. The reduction in the pouch size still holds a large amount of effluent prior to draining it, but despite its reduction in size, it still holds a large volume. We have thought a lot about the struggles that patients face when draining their pouches, especially what with drain pipes that require two hands. I'm very excited to say that we have now designed our new Optimi pouch, which can be drained with just a single hand, making it extremely easy for us to drain it. Just squeeze the drain tab at both ends and the pouch will drain. Further, the drain functionality in the new pouch also is more secure when the Velcro tab has been engaged, giving the patient a more comfortable experience and more security. As you see on the screen, our new smart bag has only a wafer and a pouch. It doesn't have a hub. So if you're thinking, have we gone hubless, you're absolutely correct. And the heart of the communication, which is why Bluetooth, is now embedded directly into your pouch and wafer. We're extremely excited to announce this new leap forward in smart technology. This hubless pouch now reduces the bulkiness significantly that patients experience with smart bag one. And it's so much lighter and so similar to a normal Optimi pouch, that it's smarter. Because of the placement of the communication directly into the pouch and wafer, this ensures continuous data transfer wherever you may be. In terms of the size of the electronics, this has now been reduced, giving the patient a more compact, lighter, and less bulkier feel of the new pouch. But despite this reduction in the size of electronics, we have doubled the number of capacitive sensors. An increased number of capacitive sensors helps to make our algorithm more accurate for calculating volume of effluent in the pouch, thereby giving you more accurate data of volume of flow in the pouch. Data science and algorithms from studies with our smart bag one system have shown that you can also reduce the number of temperature sensors for a more focused data collection. This will help us to give you better accuracy of volumetric spill in your pouch. This slide presents SIFID, a SIFID of thermal and capacitive data that we collect and process from your pouch, which enables us to give you real-time data of activity inside it. I'm also very, very excited to announce that our new pouch, which is the first one to ever have tradable detection technology in it via capacitive sensing. And this is the function of the metallic tab inside it. This new sensor technology with our algorithms can eventually learn lifestyle patients, for example, when does the patient train their pouch. This data can help us to give you a personalized, personalized experience So, let's move on to the wafer. Our wafer has been built to accommodate thermos sizes of 42 millimeters or below. It also has thicker hydrocolloid than that in the smart bag one system. This increased thickness of hydrocolloid leads to more comfort by increasing the absorption of moisture around peristome sites and increasing the wafer's wear time to three to five days. We've also had a patient coach where our new wafer while swimming and it has successfully continued functioning effectively. Our new wafer also has an increased surface area than that in smart bag one. And this additionally allows for increased wear time, increased comfort and more security. 
In terms of our technology, the embedded temperature sensors in our wafer allow us to heat map the parasternal region in order to identify early signs of skin irritation and leakage. Without the Commission's input and support, we could have never gotten this far. Today, we have transformed our Smart Bag 1 system and have built Smart Bag 2 to give even more insightful clinical data and an even better patient experience. I'd now like to introduce you to Spazo, who's our iOS developer. He'll give you an insight into how this smart care system can pair and work with your phone, giving you valuable clinical data straight to your personal mobile device. Thank you. center of innovation in all facets of our technology. You'll see this philosophy carried out as we talk about the software integration with SmartBag 2. We have received a ton of feedback from our first iteration of the SmartBag, mostly from all the patients we've come into contact with and those who have joined our program, and have made a ton of improvements to the patient experience when using the new bag and wafer. So, without further ado, let me show you how easy it is to get set up with your Smart Bag 2 system. At the top of the status screen, press the plus button to add a product kit. Next, place your phone's camera to the QR code to scan the bar. And finally, put on your bag and wafer. And that's it. Whenever you decide to put on your bag and wafer, the app will instantly detect the devices on your body and connect to them. You might be wondering, well, what happens when I change my bag and wafer? Not a problem. The app is actually able to detect when you're changing your bag and wafer so it knows to disconnect from the old device and connect to the new device. <laughs> this is just a case of how smart just got smarter. To summarize the pairing process, just remember these five, six words. <laughs> I can't really tell. <laughs> Scan it and forget it. If you take anything from my talk here today about software, just remember, scan it, and forget it. That's it. <laughs> now let's talk about some quick technical specifications. The SmartBag 2 system maintains a Bluetooth connection range of up to 30 feet. This means you could leave your phone in the living room while being in the kitchen to make a snack, and the data from your bag and wafer will still be sent to your device. Even if you are disconnected, the SmartBag and SmartWafer are able to store data for up to 12 hours. You could be disconnected for half the day, but once you reconnect to your smart vacuum system, all of your data will be synced right back up to the Alfred cloud. And finally, we take security in regards to patient data very seriously at 11 Health. So all of our Bluetooth packets are encrypted, and all of our software applications conform to the HIPAA compliance standard. So at this point, you're connected to your bag, you're connected to your wafer, but how do you see the data coming in on the app? At the top of the status screen, you'll see a bar titled Stoma Data Calculation. Now this bar will continue to fill up for the first hour as you're connected to your SmartBag 2 system. And after an hour of data, we can start showing you some pretty cool stats, such as your total output for the day, and what we actually predict to be your output by the end of the day. And you might be wondering, well, how are you going to know how much output I'm going to have by the end of the day with just an hour of data? This number actually gets more and more accurate as you continue to wear the smart bag and you learn about the physiology of your body and you continue to send data. It's pretty cool. So we know that oftentimes when patients are discharged from the hospital, they're asked by their clinicians and nurses to manually measure their output in a cup, record it, and send it back to the hospital. 
we also know that patients aren't the biggest fan of doing this task, and that for this reason, it doesn't always get done. Through a level clinical dashboard, clinicians are able to view their patient's output trends throughout the day. We indicate periods of low, normal, and high output. So right off the bat, you can say goodbye to measuring your output mainly in a cup. We also show some other pretty cool data, such as the notes taken from our wonderful patient coaches and the patient, as well as hydration data from the patient's output fluid intake tracker and the dehydration test. With all this data, clinicians are able to detect any output irregularities and possibly predict health issues before they even occur. This is the power of remote monitoring in healthcare. I just wanted to say, at Eleven Health, one of our top priorities is that all of our engineering efforts are patient-driven and patient-validated. It takes a collective group of doctors, nurses, nurses, regents, engineers, and patients to create the next generation of smart devices. So I invite you all to join us, whether you are the caregiver, the patient, the nurse, or the doctor, or whoever you are who is impacted by today's standards of healthcare, and together, we will make sure that smart gets even smarter. Woo! <laughs>
So let's just be a bit more serious. When is this coming out? When is it coming out? So I can tell you today that it's coming out next month. It will be available. And I want you to know that. But we have a problem at Eleven Health. And it's a really, really nice problem to have. It's a problem that we develop technology faster that medical evidence can be created to support our technology. So, how do we get around this? Well, we rely on you, the patient, the patient coaches, to be our champion. Because you have the most important and loudest voice in healthcare today. You have the power to change healthcare. And we want you to demand our technology from your doctors and from your WOTM as well. If we all can do that and support us through this, because that's the only way we're going to get this available. So, we are in, oh, I just wanted to say as well, rest assured that we are trying to get all that medical evidence. Recently, we have achieved a joint commission accreditation, which is a huge step for a company as small as us. And we are moving to get Medicare accreditation, and we're going to be doing that soon. So our bag is going to be available on that too. As a non-American, I know that's a big deal, so, you know. <laughs> we have free healthcare in the UK. Anyway. Um, we are in, in a massively important point in our evolution as a company, and we could not have got here without you, the patient. I want to invite all of you to become and to be part of the next generation of smart bags. It's your ideas and your experiences that shape what we do at Eleven Health. And you are all about to get an email in your e e in your inbox that invites you to do just that. There will be a link that you can click on, and you can tell us what you think. Tell us your ideas, and we will make them happen. Okay? So, without further ado, thank you to everyone. And I hope you've all enjoyed this conference. Healthy outcomes through patient engagement. Hope 2019. You are hope. I am hope.